Hey, welcome to Kate Crafts. I'm Kate. Today I would like to share with you a sweet little baby card using Lawn Fawn's new Moon and Stars mobile die. Let's get started. To kick things off, I have pulled out some sponge sugar, some shaded lilac, some salvaged patina, and some squeezed lemonade. And I am going to create kind of like a bullseye effect, sort of. Um, I'm going to go in with the sponge sugar in the middle, and then I'll bring in some of that shaded lilac around the sponge sugar as best as I can. I'm not too worried about the splotching and the splooching and the unevenness of the purple, as it will it will fade back a little bit, and it won't be as noticeable. So I'll go back in with some sponge sugar just to kind of even that out and soften it out a little bit. Again, not very heavy-handed with this because I want this to be a soft background. So here I'm just cleaning off my brush and we're going to bring in some of that salvaged patina again. Trying to go light-handed, I think some of my distress oxides might be a little bit on the dry side as I haven't gotten any of the reinkers. I think I have chip sapphire for the reinkers, but any other reinkers I, I don't have for any of my distress oxides. They're on the list, <laughs> the ever-growing list. So again, after I've gotten the salvage patina, I'm going in with the shaded lilac. And the reason why I chose this color pattern was because the pink kind of goes into the purple, the purple kind of goes into the blue, and the blue and the yellow, it's not going to really matter. So, unless, well, salvage patina is more of like a greenish blue, so that was why I chose the way I chose. So, I've just taken a full stick post-it note to hold my fingers in place on the paper so I don't get fingerprints all over this. And once I'm done with that, I am going to take the quilted backdrop backdrop die from Juan Fawn and I'm just going to cut this out. So yeah, once I figure out what I'm doing here. So off camera I've gone ahead and cut it out and you can kind of see that there's a whole bunch of the little tiny bits and bobs going on in there. So I'm going to poke all of those out off camera to spare you the excruciating boredom of having to do this. I think I turned on a YouTube video to do all that and then some. So here I'm just taking the uh, Lawn Fawn Moon and Stars mobile die and I'm going to cut this out a couple of times from some cardstock. I believe this was 110 pound cardstock and I ended up cutting it out of this glitter cardstock which I will end up using some of it but I don't think I use all of it. So I've cut it out a couple of times, and here I'm using some full stick post-it notes just to hold it down for me. I found this little trick really worked. I'm not sure where I learned it from, but I found that because, you know, fat fingers or a delicate larger piece, sometimes the reverse tweezers don't necessarily hold it right, but I found that when I stuck it to the full stick post-it, it was a lot easier to deal with, so I was able to pick it up and not get glue everywhere and all over my fingers. So all I'm doing here is lining up each of the layers so that they over they don't overlap wrong and you know they look relatively even. So this kind of almost looks like it's a chipboard kind of piece that you would add to a card, but instead we're just gonna layer it. So here I have another piece that I've cut out and I'm going to layer on top. And I've got all these little extra doodads of hearts and stars and moons and clouds. No hearts, sorry. I got ahead of myself there. <laughs> so again, I'm just doing the whole moving stuff around while the glue is still wet. And now that I've got the stars that I need to put on, I'm going to take some of the squeezed lemonade. And I'm just dabbing it and kind of lightly brushing it just to give the paper a little bit of color. And that way when I add it on to the mo mobile, it matches the ink blending that I did on the backdrop. So I'll add a little dab of glue on each of the stars and then I'll go ahead and put on all of the stars to where they need to go. So it gives the mobile a little bit of color but still keeping in white which I thought it looked really pretty as is with the background but I thought I'd add just a smidge of color to this so I'm keeping in color with the Distress Oxides that I used for the background here. 
So once I'm satisfied with that one, I will go in with the little clouds. I thought about leaving them white, but I figured since I did the stars yellow, I would pull out the salvage patina again and go over the clouds. And again, I'm just sticking them to my full stick post-it note. And I've already added the glue in, and I'm just going to place those and line them up nice and even so that way they look nice and cute. I think this little mobile die is so adorable and I was quite surprised when they came out with it and now that I've made this card I really need the background dry to go with it. Uh, I forget what it's called. Falling stars or something? I can't remember. Maybe you could tell me in the comment below because sometimes my mind is a little askew. So this little moon right here was cut out of a Glimmer Shimmer cardstock. I think it's a Recollections brand. I forget which one it is. And I thought I would use the little um, piece here that it cuts out, but I thought it might have been too white and kind of lost. So I ended up taking it off and I end up using something else here in a second, but I do have it uh, cut out in a little dot here that I end up using, and I'll put that piece on and think, mm, you know what, I don't think I like it, so I'll take it off, and then I'll grab one of the extra pieces that I have here, and I'll put it again to another full stick post-it note, and I'll take some of that wilted lilac, and I will just dab it in, just to kind of give it a little bit of texture, and then I'll smudge it around so it evens out just a smidge, because I want to keep it still kind of a little bit of a texture to it. Um, you can kind of see that it goes darker at the bottom there. Uh, I kind of liked how that turned out. I don't know how that happened. I guess it was just fluke. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'll add a little bit more glue to that bit, and then I will add this in just to give it a little pop of color. This thing is just so adorable. <laughs> I really like it. So once I'm satisfied with that, I am going to bring in the little bow, because the little bow is cute, and I think what I end up doing here is I poke out the little circle bits here from the inside of the bow, because it it cut perfectly, but the little bits got stuck inside, so I had to take my little pokey tool here and get rid of them. So, And I think, well, you know, this is going to be kind of heavy, and maybe I should take the little bows and add more in. So here I go with the bows. Again. Oh no, that's actually the dot. So I took off the dot, or maybe I'm going over the dot. I forget. I'll have to look at the card again. <laughs> this has been a minute since I made the card. This is an older video that I'd worked on a while ago, and I'm just now getting around to it. Life kind of got in the way for me, and the weeks and the time got away, and uh, I'm still pouting about my finger in the, in this particular video because it's quite hard to, you know, do anything when you've got your ring finger bandaged up to where you don't bend it so much because, again, I don't think I broke it. I might have fractured it. I don't know. It, uh, it got better. It's still better. I still have a little bit of a problem with it today as I'm recording this, but I don't know. It, uh, it hasn't fallen off or grown a second fingernail, so I'm, I think I'm good. <laughs> so here again, I go with layering the little bows with the glue. And again, I'm using the full stick post-it note, so that way I don't have to use my big fat fingers to line everything up. And uh, yeah, it's I find using the full stick post-it note on itty bitty pieces like this for gluing a lot easier than using the uh, reverse tweezers. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because it's a bigger piece to hold on to. Um, have you tried this little method of using full stick post-it note to help glue together bits and pieces? Uh, or do you have other little tips and tricks that you use for gluing thin or small or intricate pieces? Because I always struggle with the intricate stuff and I never seem to feel that I do it quite right, I guess. So here I'm going to take the little bow and glue it to the very top of the mobile so it looks like it's tied to the card. So next up I'm going to need a sentiment and the one that I'm using is Let's Celebrate and this one is from the Elephant Parade add-on and I am stamping this out in a mermaid ink by Lawn Fawn. So once I've got that stamped out, I'm going to take the extra sentiment banner that I have here and I'm going to line it up 
to B flagged towards the left side where it says let's and then I'll end up taking the same banner die and I'm going to cut out another piece out of um, the scrap paper that I have here. I want to make sure that I got a big enough piece and that way I can layer it up so it's got a little bit of dimension like the little mobile die here. So once I've cut that out I'm going to add in some glue and glue them together and then I'll layer those up together if I don't get glue everywhere. <laughs> So here I go taking the Let's Celebrate, lining everything up, giving it a good smash down and a rub down, and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to glue it to that side there. So it's kind of hanging off the side. So I'll add some more glue to the bottom of that layer, and then I will line up where I need to be with this die. And don't worry, that little bit that's sitting there, I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to trim that off with my very sharp scissors. So once that's cut off, then here is my finished card. I left the inside of it blank because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to use. You can see the shimmer to the paper, and it is so pretty. I love this die. So if you've enjoyed today's content, please give this video a like, and I welcome you to subscribe. And as always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Take care.